welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having an awesome day. It is Saturday. It is my day off. I woke up super early to start filming this video and it is now seven o'clock in the morning and I clearly have very little makeup on. My eyebrows are not done and I do not care. Do not throw shade. Don't tell me it's weird that I'm gonna do my makeup and then my eyebrows. I don't care. I do what I want. I feel like sometimes if I'm doing eyeshadow and I'm bringing it all the way up here, the eyebrows get all messed up. I don't know if that's just me. So anyways, the purpose of today's video, I'm so excited. But before I get into it, I just wanna say that most of you know me, my name is Samantha. And for those of you that don't know me, nice to meet you. If you are new here, I hope that you would subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below what you liked, and most importantly, make sure you hit that little bell that's right next to the subscribe button. So as soon as I upload a video, you will be first to get the notification. As most of you know, Jeffree Star recently had a huge launch for his new Bloodlust collection. Some of you hate it, some of you love it. I love anything that he makes. I'm just a huge fan of him in so many ways. Obviously, I've talked about him in probably almost all of my videos. I love everything he makes, and I love that he puts so much thought into the process of making a palette. I will be honest though, with the Bloodlust palette, I was kind of hoping it was gonna have more deep purples and reds and more darker tones. There is a lot of lighter pastel-y kind of colors in the palette more than I thought there was gonna be. But either way, I still like it a lot and I still bought it. And I bought it the day of his launch, which is pretty awesome. I should have got Conspiracy when I got Bloodlust, but I ended up getting Blue Blood with Bloodlust because I've never had Blue Blood and I've been wanting it for so long. But I knew, I, I said in the back of my head, I said, which one is gonna go out of stock first and is gonna be the hardest to get? I don't know why I didn't get Conspiracy because obviously that one's out of stock and it has been since then uh, because right now you can still get Blue Blood on his website, on Beautylish's website. But anyway, so I got Bloodlust. I only got the palette and I am really bummed because I did wanna get at least, you know, the lippy bundle and some highlighters, but you know what? I'm trying to be responsible and I have to just be the adult and the 32 year old that I am. I actually made a video before this one of me opening the box that I got. I ordered Bloodlust on Beautylish. I wasn't able to get it on his website. So I went to Beautylish. This is actually my first time ever purchasing from them. And not only is their ordering process online is super easy, but the package arrived so fast. I just, just regular shipping and they put in a little sample. And I heard that every time you purchase something, they always put in some kind of a little extra product or sample or whatever. And I'm like, well, that's awesome. I like that. I'm gonna pop in that video so you can see me unboxing it, opening it for the first time. Oh wow, what is this? Let's open this up. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to do it with one hand, why would I, right? Yeah. I don't wanna rip it. Uh. I got it undone, it ruined the paper, but what can I do, right? I love that it says red rum. Red rum! Oh my gosh. Wow, this box is beautiful. Are you ready? Are you set? I'm going. Oh my God. I 
I haven't touched the shadows. I haven't even nothing. Anytime I get new makeup and I want to film about it and I want to talk about it and I want to review it, I do not touch it. I don't go like this. I don't nothing. I wait for you guys. Oh my gosh. It amazes me every time. This it's just it looks like it's really expensive. It looks royal, obviously. You've got the crown, that royal purple. Oh my gosh. I am just blown away by his packaging. The detail, the design, the font, the colors, just the shape. Everything about it is just like, wow. Hi. And if you're wondering, yes, this is real velvet. The entire palette is velvet. I don't know about you, but I love velvet. I've always loved it. I was born in the 80s, grew up in the 90s, and that was a popular article of clothing. Velvet shirts and velvet scrunchies. The only thing I will say, the only downfall about this palette is with it being this size and not the smallest, and he didn't make a mini bloodlust, is that this would not be the best palette that you would bring with you traveling. Maybe if you're driving, you can fit it with you, but if you're flying, this would take up a lot of room in your suitcase. The only thing that I can think of that's a downfall about this palette. When I looked at this, the first thing I thought of is, I want to do something with purple and red because, I mean, it's blood lust. When you think of blood lust in the purple palette, you think of red. And Jeffy, Jeffy's, Jeffrey's two favorite colors together is bl blood and purple. I can't even talk. <laughs> it is purple and red together. First, before I tell you my idea, I'm going to go through and read all the shadows really fast. This one right here is Your Majesty, Take the Crown, Deviant. And you know what's so funny is um, I watched a lot of people do a, a review on this palette and they were like, Deviant, Deviant. And I'm like, how do you not know the word is Deviant? Hello. This one is Beauty Sleep, Wet Jewel, Royal Pain, Dungeon, Scandal Water, Sworn Enemy, Pink Magic, Bleeding Heart, Executioner, High King, Vivid Mood, Monarchy, Blood Queen, Vile Serpent, and Betrayal. As soon as I saw this in online or in person, the first thing I thought of and my eyes were drawn to were these two colors right here. This one and this one. I just really want to do something with this purple and this red and maybe this black. I did prime my eyes before I came in here. I used eye primer and I did use a concealer. I am going to be dipping in right here to Blood Queen. I'm gonna put it all over my lid. And I am using my SL Miss Glam SS57 brush. Should I try the tape again? I think I'm gonna. This makes life a lot easier. So I'm gonna dip into this one. Whoa, there is a lot of kickback. I tapped it three times very lightly, but that does not bother me. I really don't care. If it's pigmented and there's payoff, that is all I care about. Also, I do love that there's a mirror. It's big and it's the shape of the palette. I love that. I'm just tapping it on right now just to see how it goes on. It's pretty pigmented. It's just the only thing I'm noticing is that I think this is going to be like one of those ones where you're going to have to like build it up and build it up, but I'm fine with that. Well, it's going on really, really good. It's blending really easily. This color is basically the same exact color as it is in the palette. It's not changing at all. It just blends so easily, I can't get over it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 518 brush and just blend this out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend this out, apply a little bit more, blend it out, put it on this eye, and then repeat. Now 
what I'm gonna do just to make that purple a little more darker in the crease is I'm going in with that Kivange brush, looks like this, little pencil brush, and I'm dipping back in with that Blood Queen and just going right in the crease. Now I'm gonna go in with a Morphe 513. It's a blending brush, it's a little bit smaller, and I'm just gonna blend out that purple that I just placed right in the crease. <laughs> I do have to say that I do see what people mean about it being a little patchy. I mean, don't get me wrong, it blends beautifully and it feels good, but it's, it's like not going on even. I also stopped using the Morphe blending brush and I went in with the Real Techniques base shadow brush just because it's real fluffy and it's super soft and it just makes shadows blend really nice. I'm gonna go in with another M13, a little, little tiny brush, and I'm gonna go in with Deviant right here and just smoke out the top. Another thing that I liked when I blended out the purple, most people probably don't like this, but I do. When I blended out that dark purple, it turned into like a lighter shade of a pink. I mean, it's still purple, but it, next to it, it looks like a pink. So I'm just lightly blending the top here. <laughs> wow. With um, Deviant, there is a lot of kickback in the palette. But again, that's not going to stop me from buying a palette. That is so pretty. Wow. Wow. I look like a lilac. Mm. Some say it's hopeless. purple purple people eater <laughs> one i one how does that song go one i one ear purple people eating what all right so i'm really really wanting to put this executioner from back here it looks black up close it looks like a purple i really want to put that like in my outer corner and I'm still wanting to put that red in the middle or somewhere. I think what I'm gonna do, because I've made such a dramatic, like, whew, I'm gonna put the red right here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little Morphe concealer brush here, it's super tiny, and I'm gonna get my handy dandy shape tape i really need to invest in jeffree star's concealer especially when i'm doing jeffree star looks then i can have all js products and i'm just gonna cut my crease from here to maybe like here i went a little higher than i wanted to Bleeding heart. Very pigmented and wow, I love it. There is fallout on my cheek. I'm gonna spray my brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little intermission, charge my phone, get this red over here and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. And what I did was I clearly also added some purple and red underneath because I really want to go for like a vampy kind of look. 
Like, I don't want to look dead. I just want to kind of look like a vampire. I so wish I had fake contacts to put in here to just top the look. I really like this a lot. I did notice that the red fell down and it, like, is all over right here and all right here. I don't know if you can see it. And it was all over my lip. I did wipe it off and I tried taking my foundation brush and brushing it away, but it actually smeared it and it, like, stained my brush. And um, yeah, so I tried brushing it away and it's all right right here. Obviously I'll fix that when I'm done. I just can't get over this color. I love it so much. When I did the bottom right here, I used this brush right here. There's no number for the purple right here. And then I used this brush, also no number. And I did the red right here. And then I actually took this m421 brush and i dipped back into that purple and i just darkened it up right here so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add a little bit because it's sparkly and this is a shimmer so i don't want like too much sparkles because i don't know if it's gonna get all muddy or if it'll blend together good but i am gonna just take a very little tiny little bit of this and put it in both corners i'm um, just a tiny bit because if it doesn't look right then i can just blend it wow i just rubbed it very lightly on my finger and so much came off it's very pigmented so that's awesome all i need is a tiny little bit executioner whoa there are like chunks that fell out but it is that kind of product i guess actually changed my mind I'm gonna go in with this brush it's the MSQ no number looks like that just lightly very very lightly putting it right here in the crease this black shadow like a little bit goes a long way this is honestly the exact look that I had in mind and it's working out so good I just dipped back into the red Bleeding Heart and I'm just gonna go over this right here so I can really blend it together. Wow, that is blending amazing. It's not getting that like muddy look at all. You can see all that red right there. <laughs> Now I have black on my face because I forgot about that. I guess this is going to be the kind of eyeshadow where you would want to do your eyeshadow first and then um, your face. I'm going to stop the video, do the black on this side, and then I'll be right back. So, I got the smoky eye on this side as well. I'm definitely going to have to go back off camera again and fix my face get my lashes on, and then I'll come back and obviously do my eyebrows as well. There is a lot of fallout, but again, this will not make or break me on buying a palette if there's fallout. But before I end this, I just want to show you up close what this looks like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape off, show you what it looks like, then I'm going to stop the video again. So let's pull these off. As I said before, normally I do not like the harsh lines, but when it comes to using the tape and having it look like that, I don't mind at all. Oh. This is the final product with my eyelashes, my hair, my eyebrows, my lips, and I am going to have to say I am really, really proud of myself. If you want to know what lipstick I used, it will be in the description box. Box. It will be in the description box down below. Well, it's a wrap. This is the end. I hope you like the final look. I give it 
10 out of 10. It is Planet Samantha approved. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Like it, comment down below what you liked, what you thought, share it with your friends, tell your friends about Planet Samantha. And most importantly, as I've always said before, make sure you hit the little bell because it will notify you as soon as I upload a video. Hope you guys all have an awesome weekend and I will see you next week.